New at four, we are five days away from the eclipse, and everyone will be trying to catch a glimpse and maybe even a picture. But NASA warns that may not be great for your phone, and an astrophotographer told me he's been practicing how to take the best picture for years. Taking pictures of a solar eclipse is actually one of the most difficult photos to take in all of astronomy and astrophotography. Because Andrew Symes is a is professional astrophotographer, and much like you and I, he takes his pictures using an iPhone. After about a couple years, yeah, then I sort of got it down to a science. This picture of the sun was taken using this telescope and an iPhone 7. For August 21st, Andrew has been doing practice runs. You know, you never want to have your telescope looking at the sun. Um, unfiltered in any way. It needs a special certified solar filter on the front of it. That goes for iPhone photography too, if you want it to resemble the spectacle you're seeing. Oftentimes people feel like an event hasn't happened unless they can have a picture of it on their cell phone. So Andrew says using the same glasses that you would use to look at the eclipse yourself, put it over the lens of your iPhone, then take the picture. That way, the picture will actually resemble the sun and not just be a bright blob. NASA says by putting a filter over your iPhone lens, it protects your camera. And they warn people not to point it at the sun without a filter. That's a concern when people are using uh, you know, bigger, longer lenses that are magnifying the sun, where you definitely need a filter in front of those. Even with phone cameras getting better with each generation, the lens does not let in a harmful amount of light. But if you must... And think of a, a photo as a bonus. Absolutely. Well, there will be plenty of professional pictures taken for you to enjoy and not run the risk of ruining your gear or your eyesight.